Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in again. This is Chris with Laurel City Historical Fencing. Today we're working on our basic longsword curriculum. Today is specifically focused on the Zornhau, the first of the five master cuts. The Zornhau is a stroke of wrath and it is a very simple a change from usually starting off in Vamtag and uh, ending in long point. So we're going to look at a few different variants on here. The first with our Zornhau is if our opponent stays committed to hitting us in the head, how we can take the center line and thrust them in the face. The second option is if our opponent gives us just enough resistance that we can't quite thrust, then we can use our winding Vinden action against it to once again thrust them in the face because that's what we want to do here, that's our end game. The third option is if our opponent gives us a lot of pressure, how we can leave the bind and come around to their opposite side and strike them in the head. So let's look at those three different options one at a time. Here, Eric steps in to deliver an overhow to my head. I cut in against his attack and then thrust to the face. Here, once again, Eric attempts to hit me in the head, and I try to counter with my Zornhau, though this time he gives me enough resistance that I can't get my point placed to his face. So instead, I wind into Ox, and then thrust. This time, instead of Eric staying committed to hitting me in the head, he attempts to clear my sword by pushing it off to his left. With my sword too far over to either thrust or wind and thrust, instead, I will leave the bind and come around and strike to his right side. Now that we've practiced these three different options, what we'll do is do a fuel-in, a feeling drill, using the three different techniques we already learned. This time though, instead of our opponent letting us know how much pressure they're gonna give us, we have to decide that the moment we come into the bind. This is a good drill to practice getting ready for sparring because it practices feeling out an opponent's intention against you and responding appropriately in a controlled environment. Here, students Eric and Ben practice the Zornhau Fuelin Drill. They alternate giving each other different amounts of pressure so that their training partner has to feel the appropriate response. When you come into the bind, don't be afraid to take a second to feel your opponent's intention before reacting. Since this is an exercise where you're not worried about them hitting you back, you can focus on training yourself to respond appropriately. If you make a mistake, Ask your partner to throw the same attack again so you can try it one more time. Ah, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Do that one again then if it's uh... Remember to always be a good training partner and give the appropriate amount of resistance. This is a fun exercise, but it's also a good way to develop the skills that one will use when actually sparring with the longsword. Couple more. I'm oh, sorry, Ria. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Wow. Wow. Blanked out. Yeah, you start to kind of get in the rhythm. I uh, hope you had fun with this drill. If you have any other ideas, other options that we can do from the bind, please feel free to share them below. There's plenty of different options from different sources, and uh, we like to always compare notes. But thanks for watching once again. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, don't forget rule number one, don't get stabbed.